So in this um, in this example of a proof by induction, I'll be proving that uh, for any integer n greater than four to the n is greater than n squared. So this is going to be my statement p n. Okay. So this is another um, proof of a, using a proof by induction. Okay. So uh, again, same same two steps in a proof by induction so i have my basis step my basis step so in this case the smallest possible value of n that i can use for for p is five because n is strictly greater than four so it can't be four so the next greatest integer is or the, the following integer after four is obviously five so i'm going to use n equal uh, not not four sorry i'm going to use n equal n equal five. Okay, so basically, what I what I what 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 I want to check, I want to check that p five is true. Okay, so that's what I want to check. Okay, well, um, this isn't that complicated. I just I just sort of look at both both expressions. So two to the five is. Uh, 4 times 4 times 2, that's 16. So that's 32. So that's 2 to 5. And 5 squared is 5 times 5, which we know is 25. So clearly 2 to the 5, which is 32, is greater than 5 squared, which is 25. So 2 to the 5 is greater than 5 squared. And so this proves, so this, this proves that p to the 5 is true. Uh, Proving, proving my base, proving my base case, base case. Okay, okay. So that's the basic step. That's the easy part, right? So now the 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 hard part is the inductive step. Inductive, inductive step. Okay, okay. So what do I do in my inductive step? I assume, I, I assume, assume that P n is true is true. So assume that the statement pn is true, i.e. in this case I'm assuming that 2 to the n is greater than n square for n greater than 4. Okay. So this 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 thing here, the fact that n is greater than something, is actually quite useful um, when you're doing an inequality. And you'll see why uh, soon enough. Okay. So what I want to do now, what I want to do, my goal, my goal is to prove, my goal is to prove uh, that p n plus one, that p n plus one is true, is true. Okay. Uh, so in other words, I want to prove the statement two to the n plus one is greater than n plus one squared. Okay. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start by doing the wrong move to see, because some of you would have probably started by doing that. And I'm going to show you why I sort of get stuck. So what I'm going to do first, so in red is going to do what you, you shouldn't really do. I'm going to start with my left hand side. Okay. So my left hand side is two to the n plus one, which I mean, the only thing I can do really with that is I can write two times two to the n. Okay. Okay. Well, when, when you get here, like you can't, like there, there's nothing that you can really do sort of, you can say, okay, well, so now you can use your inductive step. You can say that this is greater than two times n square. Okay, and then okay, and then what? I don't know that. I know that two n square is equal to n square plus n square, but but then you know wh where does that leave me? I'm, I'm I'm sort of I get stuck if I take this road. Okay, so let's try the right hand side now. Um, the right hand side. Okay, uh, let's let's stop being in red because this is. Hopefully going to work. So the right hand side. Okay. So my right hand side is n plus one squared. So usually people are like, okay, which side do I take? This is really hard. Like, it's hard to know which one every single time because they're different. Um, I my the rule of thumb for me that I sort of try to respect is I try to take the thing that I can expand or or sort of I can sort of simplify into simpler terms the most. 
I don't know if that makes any sense, but in this case it's this because I have a square here, so I know that something square is going to like a sum square is going to give me um, is going to give me a, a, a sum of, of squares or something. So n plus one square is is, is equal to n square plus two n plus one. Right. So I know this. Okay. And uh, now what I can do, I'm going to straight away use my inductive step. So I'm going to say I know that. Um, let's see. I know that n square. And be careful here with the, the 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 direction of your inequality. I know that n square is less than to the n. Okay, so uh, this is less than to the n plus two n plus one. Because I'm adding. Because this is this is a bigger. Because I know that two n is a bigger number than n square. So if I'm adding, so like like this is. Let's do it aside here. Do this side. Okay, so um, so if I say if I say that a is greater than b, and now I write a plus c and b plus c, right? Well, c is the same in both cases. So which of these expressions is going to be bigger? Well, it's going to be a plus c because a a is greater than c, right? A is greater than c, and c is equal to c. So the only thing that really that really matters between these two between these two expressions is a and b. So in this case, you can sort of see this as a and this as b. So that's why I'm doing that, OK? Um, OK, so now let's take this one step further. Um, and this is sort of where a lot of people get confused and they don't really know how to get there. But keep in mind what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get something, because I have, I have, I have I already have a two n here, right? Okay, um, and I did something I did something here. So if you want, if you like, two to the n plus one, right? That's equal to two times two to the n, right? But I can ri also write two times something as the addition of those two things. So that's also equal to two to the n plus two to the n. Okay, well I have one two to the n here. So what I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get another to the end here somehow, right? I don't know how yet. So let, let's try to figure that out. Well, first of all, I have a one. So can I say that n is greater than one? Than one? Well, yes, because I said in my in my assumption that n is greater than four. So necessarily, necessarily, if n is greater than four, then it's greater than one, right? So this thing is greater than two n plus two n. Plus n, because because n is greater than four, which is obviously greater than one. So it, it sort of it follows implicitly that n is greater than one. Okay, so I can add two n and n now, so that's equal to two n plus three n. Okay, and again, again I have so I'm not going to touch my n because I can't. It's sort of going to lead me in the wrong direction. But I do have a constant, and it's a three. Now, what I know about what I know about n is that n is greater than four. So, if n is greater than four, then necessarily it's going to be greater than three. Okay. So, I can actually write that two n plus three times n is uh, is two, two, two. So that is less than right. That is less than two to the n plus n times n. Again, this is because this is because n is greater than four, and four is greater than three. So implicitly, it follows that n is greater than three. Okay, and what's n by n? Well, it's just n squared. So that's oops, not uh, let's not do yeah okay. Okay, equals. So that's two to the n plus n squared. And what do I know about n squared again? Well, I know I know from here, from here, from this thing. That n square is less than two to the n, so this is whoops, sorry about that. So this is less than two to the n plus two to the n, right? Because th this stayed the same, but this changed, and I knew that two to the n was greater than n square. That's why I put a greater than sign. Okay, and uh, so this is like this is like saying x plus x is equal to two x, right? So two to the n plus two to the n is equal to two times two to the n. Okay, 
and I know I know from my power rule that if I do a uh, to the n times a to the m that's equal to a to the n plus m and so this is actually a one there so I can actually just write that as two uh, to the n plus one right and so basically what I did I started with well let's make this a bit okay so I started with I started with n plus one square and uh, I have my inequality sign here so as long as I have my inequality sign right before or not right before but close to uh, what I'm trying to get at here then it's fine so I have n plus one square and I have a less than here less than two to the n plus one so I, I can actually just say implicitly that n plus 1 square is less than 2 to the n plus 1. So n plus 1 square is less than 2 to the n plus 1. So that proves that proves p to the n plus 1. And so uh, pn, which is again pn, which is again 2 to the n is greater than n square for n greater than 4 is true true by induction okay and that's another another proof by induction with inequalities